So this is a follow-up video to my previous uh, video and article on performance of scrolling where previously I added the class to the body as the user scrolled uh, which would add pointer events none and what that did was disable any hover effects uh, within any elements on the page and then therefore make scrolling uh, faster and the browser not have to worry about doing repainting any hover effects that might happen. One of the critiques was that um, when you added the class to the body, it would actually cause a, a style recalculation. And the more complex the DOM you had, uh, the bigger the style recalculation would be. Uh, in my previous test case, uh, it wasn't very complex, so that style recalculation was uh, insignificant. But on a more realistic test case, like the one I've got here, uh, it presents a bigger problem. So as you scroll, you get that you get a jitter straight away because it's adding adding the class and it's got to recalculate it. So I'm going to go through some performance techniques and show the new one uh, as well as some other optimizations to make this page scroll a bit faster. So let's first record uh, with nothing happening. So this is the page as is. We scroll and you can see here I'm just blowing the hell away from that 60 frames a second. And we can just drill in here and have a look. You can see I'm getting style recalcs, big layouts, massive repaints and the browser is really struggling. So we'll clear that out. And what I'll do is I'll refresh the page so we get a fresh test case and Chrome hasn't already uh, decoded any images so we just get a realistic uh, timeline. So we'll just wait for that to load. All right. And first I'll disable hover. Now the cover div that gets injected on the page uh, for demonstration purposes here is um, a opacity of 0.2 and it's red just so you can see what's actually happening. So we'll record that and then I'll do another scroll. Now you'll see that I'm not getting massive style recalcs, but I'm getting these big paint triggers happening every so often. So we just scroll to the top, let's have a look. And we drill into one of these paints. We can see now our scroll, so our functions happened, it's triggered uh, showing uh, the pointer events on the on the cover div, so then it blocks any hover events. But what's happening as we're scrolling is we're getting these massive repaints every so often. And what's happening is when the browser has to show some images, it's decoding the image and then it's resizing, which is interesting. So these images within this demo here aren't actually their true size. What's happening is the image tag is setting a width and height, which is artificially shrinking them down. But really, they're actually quite big. And so what the browser has to do is it has to decode it, then it has to resize it, then it has to decode it again and resize, decode, and so on. And so you get those massive spikes happening and it blows away your performance, even though we're, get, we're quite good in between and the style recalculation start is pretty insignificant. And if we can fix that, then we can get some really good performance happening here. So let's just refresh the page once more. So we've disabled hover. I've got a little helper function here just to speed things up. What this does is this iterates iterates over all the images, uh, removes their width and height uh, attributes and sets them to their proper height. So there's no uh, image resizing events happening when the browser has to paint them to the, the screen. So we'll just execute that. Now, now what we'll do, as you can see the images are bigger, we'll do another recording. As we scroll down, you can see now we're just making it within the 60 frames a second. You can see we're almost going over the top in a few of them. But now it's much better. So this one we almost trigger over the top. And you can see here we're still getting a big paint. But now we're only getting image decodes happening and no uh, image resizes. So the browser has to do less work to, to paint the image to the screen so the user can see it. Obviously this isn't a be all end all uh, technique and, and might not be uh, the correct path for you. Uh, but it's definitely uh, an idea to look at uh, to increase performance.